Hey guys, welcome back. Marius here, another episode for State of Decay 2. And this time I will quickly try to answer to the questions about skills, particularly the fifth skill at the bottom, which, well, what what's my pick and what I would choose. So you already see in your screens, this is the spreadsheet. There is no point of me going in game because in game I cannot show all the skills and everything but I can definitely do that right here and don't forget to check at the bottom there's a link to this spreadsheet where I will allow you to comment so you can add additional information because it's just too too hard to get everything uh, in place I have mo tested most of it but you can of course comment and uh, put your suggestions as always uh, I like those because there's many good, uh, there's a lot of good information, and always check the timestamps because if you want to skip some part or you're interested some, for some particular point, just yeah, check the description section. I will try to make as this video as, as as small as possible, so I will just run through all the parts so you already see uh, from my spreadsheet. I will explain how I dropped it. It's quite simple. Uh, there's always a line with the first skill, then are two possible upgrades, and it goes down. And for example, if you see there's a gardening, if there's another skill that actually provides exactly the same as, as, as the first base, uh, it's, it's at the bottom, and they always have something additional, so it's just yeah, amazing. And yeah, similar is... I'll just scroll down so you can see. If you need, you can pause the video and see how it how it looks. So mechanics can be afterwards upgraded into auto mechanics or engineering, but the same goes with pinball because pinball go gives the first base and additional shooting experience rate, for example. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Uh, start with computers. This is the uh, at the side you can see I have rated just purely in the scale of let's say 10, but there's no 10 numbers anyhow. But 9 is the highest and I'm giving it to computers for one particular reason, because you need it for upgrading your command center to the third level and rest of the unlocks, well, I don't care about them, but this is really crucial, so you definitely want someone with computer skills. Afterwards, if you need upgrading, uh, there is no particular reason for going for um, generators. That's not generators, that's not a workshop. Uh, right. Let me check electrical. Those generators are created for facilities, so really, really, really shit. Uh, not needed. And C4, you need additional ammunition uh, skill. You cannot craft just for elect from electronics, but good part is a little bit as you can see, yellow color is part salvage from weapons because you will have a lot of weapons, so you can destroy them in better rate. If you choose programming, you get uh, assault drones and you can create uh, box mines. <laughs> I don't use them as well, so you can see they are orange, not so great value. But radio cooldowns are quite awesome if, for example, you want to get a lot of cars or med drops or anything. Any, anything uh, from radio, well, they have reduced cooldown, so choose whatever you want. And there's no other chance how you can get computers. Next is utilities. Utilities is for me must have uh, because it unlocks hypodronics. It also boosts uh, power and water duration. If you have still rain collector or generators, they will just work for a longer period. If you are in second, third playthrough with a builder's card, so water and electricity is not a problem, you still want this because hypodronics is amazing. Amazing because hypodronics, a small slot, gives exact same amount of meds or food as three, well, third level uh, garden. So garden you have to build, then you have to upgrade, then you have to upgrade, you have to invest, you have to wait and everything. Hypodronics, you have it already from the beginning. Three food or meds, go for it. Uh, yeah, water electricity is needed and 
skill also is needed, which means you cannot exile the person with utility skill, otherwise the hypodronics will not work anymore. Later on, utilities can be upgraded into different parts. That This is the part where I get a bit confused, not confused, uh, but one is solar generators, which is mods for facilities, and here we are speaking about solar array, array however you pronounce it correctly. It's a large facility which creates uh, electricity without any fuel or anything. Also not needed if you're a builder, that's why it's red and refrigerator store. Well, that's nice to have, but nothing particularly well. Uh, good, as you can see, that that's why I have those comments. I just, yeah. And 20, uh, 20 parts per day, it's, it's not considerable, really very high amount to be any good. Plumbing from other side is a bit better, that's why it's yellow. Uh, this last part, as you can see, those points you have when you have fully upgraded, which means computers, for example, upgraded to programming and then uh, full stars, seven stars, so then you have those bonuses, for example, 20 st max stamina is quite okay, but even better plumbing unlocks your um, toilet basically and toilet upgrade. So casual toilet gives you five morale and if you spend one labor, you get extra 10. So 15 labor if you choose plumbing, that's why it's a bit better state. Next on, I'll just scroll down. Uh, next definitely is <laughs> Gardening, as you can see, it's actually very bad compared to like an ologist. Uh, simple as that. What I just tested out, it's amazing. Uh, you can build a garden and upgrade it two times. And for each of that garden level, you can switch to fa uh, med. So basically, Farm one gives one med or one food or two meds, two food or three meds or three food. Simple as that. For all that, which I just mentioned, you need only gardening. There's no herbalism needed whatsoever. This is just amazing. That's why I meant uh, three, three levels. Another thing is farm, which is the big facility where you get two food or two meds then once upgraded in the second level, then three, and at the end, at the third level, you get four items, food or meds, and for that, there's herbalism needed. Anyhow, I hope you, ex I hope you understand how it works, but basically gardening is really crucial if you're just aiming for the small, uh, small gardens, And basically, it's only working for gardens and farms. That's basically only benefit. If you then uh, upgrade it in agriculture, then you unlock the big farm, uh, third level, where still you have have to have leader as a trader. Otherwise, you cannot upgrade it. So, if you have any other uh, three uh, leaders, one of those three you cannot still build this third farm and this agriculture skill is just gives you nothing nothing at all only good thing if you upgrade it still to the maximum you'll get one food so herbalism comes in it's a bit better that's why there's a bit difference um, when you if you go with my suggestion with hypodronics then you have Min, max, already three incoming food. And if you want to switch to the meds, you need uh, herbalism as a skill. So switching between food and meds uh, on hypodronics require um, herbalism. And if you have farm, let's say you have farm second level already converted to meds, which gives you three meds, yes three meds and you want to upgrade to the third level you need herbalism as well it's really tricky it's hard to explain I hope you get the idea but herbalism is good but that nothing of that matters as you ex already understood agriculture is really 
bad if you are not considering to um, sacrifice a large large slot of, um, in a base then agriculture is just purely not needed instead if you get uh, this like analogist skill it provides you garden which is crucial for all the upgrades still and it gives also herbalism so it basically it's yeah two in one one in two two in one two in one <laughs> and gives also two meds so it's mo it's the best skill you can have for this in this area uh, simple as that you don't have to upgrade it anywhere it's one star if you have a uh, member with such skill you get everything you need basically simple as that let's move on chemistry uh, it's interesting skill because what it does it uh, it unlocks the steel where you can produce fuel when upgraded you can produce also ethanol and whiskey and in some base it's built in but if you look closely when you are uh, crafting molotovs fu fuel bombs firecrackers and fireworks they have specific line in the in the description which says it's not required but the bonus is from chemistry skill as i as i understand i, I always have chemi uh, chemist uh, in my community i believe when i didn't had i create three firecrackers when uh, crafted but if i have chemist i'm now crafting per per, per one uh, one ability, uh, five firecrackers. So I think that's the update. And the same goes for molotovs and fuel bombs and firecrackers. So basically, you just craft more of them. That's why I actually put eight, not not nine, but still eight, because the same firecrackers are really highly used. And if you you are on your first playthrough, you still you want to have still for water and then you ha can upgrade it for creating uh, whiskey so i'd say semi chemistry is quite awesome uh, you can upgrade it later on in uh, munition or pharmacology i guess uh thing is as you can read you can read all the texts i don't need to read them for you uh, so i consider three max ammo or three max meds are not sorry phone uh they are not uh, as good as they might for look for someone and you can read it out yeah it's it's storage you can get 20 extra it's it's cool to have but nothing crucial that you need to aim for thermal grana uh, grenades are good but they cost a lot to create and c4 with electronics is most powerful uh explosive which is amazing and still you can avoid it as simple as that for this improved um, ammunition i'm not quite sure haven't tested what the hell how this works i guess it creates more ammo per usage and then you can uh go the uh, pharma pharmacology I guess uh, I don't like strong pa pain healers because you use meds to create it and ethanol so you n need extra uh, not even more meds but extra uh, ethanol which when runs out you cannot create so casual painkillers are enough for me I don't if you need strong painkillers you're doing something wrong and good thing is reduced uh, cost of plague uh, plug plague cure but the thing is it not it's not reducing the um, plague samples needed but meds needed for uh, creating this plague cure which is yeah as you can imagine not very helpful because most likely and usually you need plague samples to create those are the ones who are missing so yeah that's why it's not but if you take higher dresser if you find one it provides you uh, the chemistry basic skill and gives you 10% influence, which I think is kind of okay because it's passive all through the playthrough. So I would suggest to experiment with this. 
Uh, this is getting too long. Okay, mechanics. Mechanics only thing uh, I find quite valuable is engineering, so upgraded version. The base is unlocking third level workshop. Second level workshop gives you uh, one plus one material, which I usually update. In third level, there is not so much uh, upgrades that I'm using. But yeah, what is good is toolboxes because you need to repair your cars. So mechanic is still kind of needed. That's why it's still green. The base is okay, six might be seven, but afterwards you can upgrade in auto, auto mechanics, which then unlocks auto shops, and you can create body kits and uh, fast repair toolkits, total garbage. And someone might say that fuel efficiency is amazing. Uh, I don't find problem with fuel, so I'd say better go with engineering because. Suppressors, handmade, brakes, chokes, and uh, box mines, and you have uh, reduced cost for weapon repairs. You will be hitting zombies and shooting zombies, so your weapon will be broken down. So, this is something that will be used no matter what your playstyle is. And Pin Pinpal also provides mechanics and extra shooting range. If you like, you can try out, but I would suggest to go with this. And at the bottom, I'll run through quickly because I think it's already 20, 20 minutes long video. Okay, let's catch up. Uh, in cooking, cooking actually is kind of cool because it provides a lot of morale in case you have extra food. Otherwise, because you cannot use kitchen without uh, burning down your food, most likely when you build base, as I suggest, you have extra food, so it shouldn't be a problem. It's always a trick either to go with toilet or with um, kitchen. I would suggest to check it out. So cooking skill uh, allows you to unlock second level uh, kitchen and prepare feast. Uh, so this is the feast. As you can see, two labors, three foods, and for hour you have not even morale, but also stamina boost. Uh, if you then upgrade in cuisine, then you have influence gained uh, if maxed out and great improves I think maybe it was back, but for me, I didn't see any huge update boost. And then I tried also from one of my playthroughs, the nutrition and health stamina boosts are okay. 10, just 10 max is a bit small, but still you can go for it. This is the part which I couldn't just uh, test it out because I had no, I have no one from all the enclaves with those stupid skills. <laughs> so bartending, uh, the guess, uh, someone is guessing that uh, in, the, in launch you will have extra morale or time if you are using the drinks. There is this morale booster. So yeah, bartending gives you basic knowledge of cooking and extra giving alcoholic beverage and mixing drinks more efficiently. And similarly going uh, with, with coffee making, you have basic cooking, which is this one, and then you have coffee preparation. Someone please comment what the hell is this if you have checked it. I haven't found any person yet. So yeah, I have mixed up something. Yeah, I have deleted, Jesus. Construction, metal working. Mm. It's craftsmanship I'm missing. I think when I copied, I lost it somewhere. Stupid me, but anyways, there was, <laughs> there definitely was nothing uh, I would suggest to go for. Uh, I need to find out where I lost it. But yeah, it unlocks heavy duty storage, allows to craft um, store facility mods, which never are as good as the ones you can buy or find as a, as a scavenging. Uh, and unlocks uh, speeding at staging area. That's one thing I not noticed that's the requirement, the construction. So N plus one labor, total garbage, would not go for that. Uh, Metalworks 
this one is quite amazing because still you use a lot of weapons all the time so that's weapons breaking down and this metalworks gives you the chance to craft master melee weapons that's that's in my other video mentioned the one of the best weapons uh, aside of this bastard boulevard sword uh, but the ones you can actually craft for everyone in your um, community comes from metalwork that's by seven and if you want to check out design and su sewing saving sewing <laughs> i guess it provides basic craftsmanship which allows you to craft weapons not the best ones but so yeah pointless just the weapons and it goes also uh, gives also global action speed and this one provides extra health 20 and two max consumable stacks that's that for me just sounds amazing if you have resourcefulness as a trait which gives another plus one then plus this so basically you, you can have at maximum if i can correctly six consumables which is a lot as you can imagine because basic is only three so that's amazing and the least favorite for me at least is medicine just i have no i see no reason why to have it when you have upgraded infirmary to second level you already uh, are uh, curing the injuries you are curing the um, this this blood plague if, if blood zombies are hitting you uh, the infection and also curing all the missing uh, hp health and also all the injuries i see no reason why anyone would want a third level in for me i'm always upgrading if i have if I can, but just because of nothing. And first aid kits never used one. In none of my playthroughs. No reason. Just leave your uh, leave the injured person in base. It will be treated, and you will get him back. Just cycle them out. And all the actions for extra boosts and uh, healing everyone in your base. Never use them. Why anyone would need such thing? And then, yeah, you can upgrade them in pathology and surgery. This max, maxed out, it gives, uh, well, basically twice as uh, infection resistance, which means it's already boring as hell because I have rarely uh, caught the blood plague with any of my uh, community members. With, with this infection resistance, there would be none of like like zero chance for me it's like boring as hell and as you can imagine useless as well so surgery provides another boost and and a maximum health which is you can consider this kind of good but if you look you can have someone who knows tattoos so you have basic medicine so you can upgrade your infirmary and craft everything you need and it also gives you knowledge of art which at some point somewhere gives some boost and influence gained so i would consider this is the best from all the medicine and everything so just to summarize up uh medicine you don't need it medicine nothing you don't need it uh this um craftsmanship and all the updates and yeah, you can check it out just for just for curiosity cooking yes Cooking can be good, either with cuisine or bartending. Mechanics, I would go for engineering because it's, yeah, the same suppressors and uh, weapon repair parts uh, would be good. Then chemistry, just because you use firecrackers and yeah, you can go with molotovs and whatsoever. Notable thing to mention is also influence gain. You can have hairdresser. But my top list, yeah, the chemistry, then like analogy, utilities, whatever you choose to upgrade, and then computers, obviously, definitely computers. That's it, guys. That's the summary. Sorry, it's taking too long, but yeah, I'm cutting the video. And that's it. Please leave the comments in the spreadsheet if you have probably there's you have some information if you have uh, some of the persons with pinball or, or
or suing or whatever, you can write down what's the uh, additional bonus I might missed. And thank you guys for checking out the videos and commenting and improving overall knowledge base because I cannot know everything. The more deeper I'm going into the game, this game is just so deep with all those crossovers with traits and buildings and upgrades and bonuses and requirements and oh holy holy moly it's amazing it's amazing guys so if you like the video if you learned something new if you learned if you teach me something i even give you like yeah this time around you know <laughs> but yeah don't forget to subscribe and like more videos coming up and we will meet in next videos stay tuned guys <laughs>